Hey everyone, uh, my name is Lucas and today uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how I built this design um, in Framer uh, using uh, Figma and inspired from some other uh, cool designs that I saw online. So just for context, I, I was in Chrome, in Google and I saw, um, I was in Contra, this freelancing platform and I saw this guy and he made this uh, cool kitchen website. And um, I was scrolling down. I thought it was very, very um, simple yet beautiful. And um, I created a long form tutorial in Figma of how um, of how to like redesign this for another type of industry. And uh, the industry that I chose like was like this elderly care industry. So basically redesigning a a page like this, but in the in the design of 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 this guy. Um, the link to this to this long form tutorial is in the description below. But basically, I want to share with you guys um, my thought process, uh, a quick overview of my thought process. So I, I saw this design, right? I took a screenshot of the whole page using this uh, Google Chrome extension, Go Full Page. Uh, I also saw this um, really beautiful website called Deal.com, and I really like the the colors that they used and some of their ways of portraying their pictures right with this nice little blue uh, background and of course papa this was like the inspiration the type of industry that i wanted to to um, build a a little design on and so if we go to figma i basically brought these screenshots into this type of mood boarding section uh, i i went through each section i i kind of picked out the colors using the color picker tool and and then I built this nice little design in in uh, Figma with these nice little background elements. Um, so basically, we have a a nav bar with the logo and with a few different um, words here that are all um, perfectly aligned, about forty pixels apart from each other, right? If so, if I were to click this and select the, and and hover over this while holding options, you can see the forty pixels. And then we have this button over here. And underneath this, we have um, uh, this text with a specific type of line height um, or and, and letter spacing so that it looks properly designed. Um, also, we have this hey there and, the, and this text with a different color, color difference. And we have this beautiful section over here where we have kind of like the same design as, as one of our inspirations that we saw but um, with this uh, AI generated from uh, Midjourney. So I was using my Midjourney account to create different types of uh, AI content, um, stock pictures that we can use for this website. And that worked out pretty well. So we use this um, for the hero section. And then up here, over here as a, as a uh, um, absolute positioning um, element over the image, we have this uh, kind of testimonial that relates to this image right so other than that we we built these these other sections very very quickly um but uh, the most important thing is that we brought I, I brought this to framer as a screenshot and i started designing this from scratch um because um the initial idea was just to you know get components from frame pad and just reorganize the components but i said hey let's just design this from scratch so what I did was I created a component based off of a nav and a hero section. They're both stacks. The nav stack is, is one stack with several, with two stacks, the left one and the right one. And inside the left one, we have the logo. And inside the right one, we have um, different stacks for each button. And this button, for example, with its own moon blue color, um, which we got from, from our Figma project, and with a specific uh, border radius, as you can see, 20, and with a specific padding. And um, and we also built this hero section. So if I collapse this and we open the hero section, we have the main container for the padding of this specific hero section. And then we have the left container and we have the right container. The left container um, includes the different text and the button um, at the bottom. So we have the header and we have the paragraph where we have also the button included in this paragraph. And we also have this right section where we have um, the stack and this frame with the image. And then we have the card, which I also cre created a component to um, over this 
um, image as a absolute type. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, and and by the way, also this backgrounds, uh, it's an image. It's uh, so so basically these these little elements that you see in the backgrounds. Um, I exported it from Figma as a uh, image. So basically what I did is I just um, copied this, uh, duplicated this, brought it to the top. And as you can see here, we have different elements and as easy as just click and export as hero BG. I used that and I went to Framer and I clicked on this um, uh, background of the desktop and replaced it with the image. So um, basically that's it. It took me about like an hour and a half to build this today, um, but uh, that's basically it. It's not completely, um, uh, you know, responsive at the moment, but it's still working there. If you want to grab a link to this already um, built uh, hero section, you can do so in the in the description below. And uh, other than that, uh, you can learn if if this video was too fast for you. Um, again, I have a a. Um, a really long form behind the scenes tutorial uh, for free in my free Patreon um, in the description below so that you can see how exactly I went from um, uh, mood boarding, um, uh, ideating, uh, creating the, 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 the Figma file, creating the Figma design, and then bringing everything and creating this step by step. Um, it took me about an hour, like I said. And there you can really see how I use my brain to build all of this. And um, also download this template because as you download it, you can see how I built all of these different stacks. And you can see how a professional framer developer like me um, builds their different um, components. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more content like this, please let me know. If you didn't like it, also please let me know. I'm excited to hear more. Thanks.